Hi guys and welcome back to another Whiskey and Sports video. I've um, just been finishing up my toast performance of the week. Uh, this week I've given it to Celtic and the whiskey that we uh, we toasted to them was uh, Glen Goyne 21 year old. Um, just as I was uh, putting all the, the, the video together I happened to be looking through the internet, in particular Twitter. Uh, I realised that um, many many sources are indicating that the Dybala deal is off. Now I understand <coughs> from Man United fans that how exciting it would have been to have uh, Dybala join the club. You know what he could have brought, what he what he could have delivered, and linking up with Pogba again. You know that partnership that works so well at uh, Juventus. But the reality is, like I said in my video last week. Dybala never wanted to come to Man United. He doesn't see them a club that he wants to play for. And uh, I believe that he was asking for massively inflated wages. Uh, there was extortionate agent fees. And there was lots of haggling over image rights. Now, Man United, in my opinion, well, according to reports, have walked away from this deal to focus their attention elsewhere. Um, Latest reports is that they're looking at a 46 million bid for uh, the Ajax uh, forward. However, just go back to what White United have done. I think they've taken a step in the right direction. They finally figured out that they are bigger than any player. That they are a club with history, with stature, with a sense of pride and they're not to be taken a ride by a player a player that didn't want to be there a player that was only coming because he was going to get fortunes of money and you know Man United finished sixth last season in all likelihood they would have finished sixth this season but they would have paid maybe 10 15 20 million to Dybala he would have moped around the field he would have had one or two good performances and they still would have finished sixth if they don't uh, sign him and they get some players in that actually really want to play for Man United who will bust their gut to chase down and get that ball back, who will put their life and soul into every performance. Now every performance might be great, every performance might be a 5 or a 6 out of 10, but it's character, it's, it's willingness, it's wanting to be that do it for the team want to succeed for man united want to succeed for your own career you know hunger to win games and that's what man united need they need players that are hungry to win games for man united they don't need an overinflated millionaire who is just coming there for another payday to bolster his bank account that's that's not what they want so i for one think man united have finally, finally taken a step in the right direction. I think that we can look back possibly when Man United become great again as this is the point in time where they've realised fuck massive players, fuck players that are going to sell millions of shirts and they'll make millions off their back. Now is the point where they pick players that drive the football team forward. Now is a point when the pick players that means that the football team is going to be successful in the future. Not the financial report, not the, the, the billions of pounds that uh, the Glaciers are going to take out of the club. That's not what it's about, it's making the football team great again. Um, so in my opinion guys, United walking away from the Dybala deal is the right decision. I think they have... They have really gone up in my estimations, and whoever took that decision, they deserve a pat on the back. Now, if Dybala turns up at Man United, I'll eat my words, but I hope if he does turn up, that he puts in the performances that the shirt deserves. That he goes there and he plays for the Man United shirt, not for his paycheck every week. Um, that, that's pretty much my opinions on, on Dybala, guys. 
Uh, if you agree or disagree with anything I've said, please put it in the comments below. Remember to hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell. And while you're at it, smash that like uh, button for, uh, for this video as well. Uh, talk soon, guys. Bye-bye.